Okay. At this lab, we're going to do the transferring bacteria. This is a bacteria agar. Okay, so it's on the petri dish. You will see those are very single, tiny dots which say it's a pure culture. It represents a colony, which means a group of cells coming from one mother cell. So what we're going to do is we will be transferring the single colony onto slants. Slants is usually for short-term storage, about less than one month. Transferring this to the broth is a liquid media. And then we're going to do a strict plating onto a neutral agar plates. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Before we do anything, the first important thing is label. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do, we have to label. We're going to write what you're going to do there, which is E. coli, your initial, your bench number, and your date. This is the first thing what, you, what you're going to do, is to do... Uh, um, laboring. Second thing, for the blood, we always going to label on the top, not on the bottom, because we want to see the bacteria grow. So we label right here, which is E. coli. You name, you date, your bench number, and you date. For slants, we always going to label on the side. We're not going to label right here, okay, because we want to see it. So for slants, we're going to label E. coli, CS, okay, date, um, and also your bench number. Okay, so we're going to label it. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. Before we do, we practice a couple of times. I just say we practice a couple of times. Uh, we will use bounce and burn. Okay, so how we do it. Brown sun burner, you have to turn it on. Now you're going to have to use a loop. The loop has to be make sure it's straight. So we really take a picture when we do that. And you have to make sure it is sterilized, which is burned to the red, all the way to the top. Okay, not like this, not only like the bottom. So whole thing. Sterilized. Now, how are we gonna pick it? Go here. You're gonna call down right there a little bit. Call down. Let take a picture. We're gonna call down a little bit. Okay. Then we pick a colony right there. Pick a colony right there. For the brass, it's very simple. Little finger is turning on, turning. Uh, take it out the cup. Okay. Then you flame. Make sure it's decontaminated. Take a picture right there. Okay, then you go inside, just like that a couple of times. So that's very simple. Okay, then you flame it, then you close it. Put it on the side. How to do it on the slants? You have to flame it right now. Prevent the cross contamination. Little bit on the top. Okay, again, call down on the side. Then pick single colony. On the slants, we do a zigzag streak. Take it off, flame, we put in the button, don't touch the liquid. Do a zigzag, zigzag streak. So we flame it again and we close it. Now the next one is for the streak plating onto the plates. That is something a little bit diff difficult, so you have to be practiced more. Flame it again. Okay. Little bit on the top. Call down. Then you pick colony. How are you going to do this? Left hand, take it out. At the beginning, you will do a very intensive streak. Very, very intensive. Okay, now you have to flame it. Make sure every time you have to flame it. Take a picture of you all the time. Because if you don't flame it, what's gonna happen? It's not gonna do a serial dilution on the agar. Then you from the second couch do a very gentle, less intensive. Then you have to flame it again. 
okay? The encoder turned on a little bit, do a third coach. Then you have to frame it again. Coder on the side, then do a last less intensive or last coach. So you will see, actually you can see some of you marker there. Can you see it? If you see the marker, and I'm going to show you the marker there. You possibly can see the marker inside. Take a picture. Okay, then we do our incubation. Usually we flip it over to do the incubation. And don't forget to flame your loop after you finish it. So we turn this one off. And this whole set, you should give it to TA and we will do the incubation at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. So we hope we'll see the colony growing there. And this brass, you should see either turbidity, pellicles, or precipitation at the bottom. And uh, the slants, you will see a zigzag marker. Okay, so that's all we have for transferring bacteria.